Happy Valentine's Day! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell in today's video, I have my wonderful, amazing husband. What's up guys? And we will be sharing our love story. So where did everything begin? It all started in 2016. Um, I was in Austria serving as a missionary in Vienna and I decided to go surprise my parents uh, with a home visit. Turns out that while I was there, there was the God Will Provide conference. I was with my friend Jason from Chicago and while we were at the conference, um, he said that, hey, there's a Romanian girl in the school um, and it'd be awesome if we go, you know, maybe she'll be happy to see other Romanians. So let's go talk to her after. I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. If you know her, and it's not weird, let's go, why not? <laughs> so we went and um, it was actually just like a quick, like... It was like two minutes, not even two minutes. Yeah, it was very quick, just very brief. He just introduced me like, here, this is Claudia. Um, you know, we know each other from Chicago and uh, she's in the missionary school and I asked her, I was like, you know, where do you want to go on missions? Then she told me that she wanted to go to Africa and I told her, I was like, hey, you know, we have a big need in Austria, Romanian speaking uh, people. So if you feel like you're called there, you know, keep this in prayer. And uh, I was then, like, yeah, I'll pray about it. But I didn't really, yeah, I nope. didn't really pray about it. <laughs> yeah. So after that, we haven't, we didn't keep in contact or anything like that. It was just kind of like a, just quick, you know, intro introduction, introduction. And that was basically it until I was on my way back to Austria in the airport when I opened up Facebook and God will provide the missionary school uh, had a, a update video and I saw Claudia speaking and after I watched the video I was like hey you know let me message her and see how she's doing how's the school just very simple I didn't want it to be weird um, and so I messaged her uh, very briefly she just stopped replying after a while and uh, so I was like, you know, I respect that. But something in my heart honestly started started to pump. It's something that's told me, you know, start praying and fasting for Claudia because she's going to be your wife. And it was something that I've never felt before and something that I honestly didn't understand. It was very, very weird to me. But I started fasting. I started praying. And I think about a month and a half went by and I get a message from Claudia saying I got chosen to go to Austria. When they said it was going to be Austria, I went outside and I messaged Brian and I'm like, Hey Brian, so looks like I'm actually coming to Austria. I don't know, God just chose me to come here. And little did I know that a sign that he had was that if I was meant to be his wife, then I would be sent to Austria. So like, I had no idea. I was just messaging him letting him know that I was coming. It was honestly a very big confirmation for me. I just wanted to be something from God. Um, if she was going to be my wife, if she ended up being the one, then I wanted God to speak to me uh, very concrete and very direct. So I knew 100%. The thing is like he didn't even, he didn't know my personality. He didn't yeah, know like didn't. my character. He didn't know anything about me, just like my name. Do you even know how old I was? Um. I was 18 at the time. I was yeah. just a baby. Like, I would honestly, I, I just asked people that knew her and asked her, like, what she's like, you know? And I was like, man, that's awesome. Like, I, I want to get to know her more. And then I remember one night I, I, I was praying for, for the situation. And I asked God, I was like, look, God, I want you to speak to me something very concrete directly from your word. And so I opened up the word, whatever it lands on, I wanted to speak something specific about a wife, about marriage. I remember I opened up in Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and over there it says to enjoy life with the one whom you love. And oh snaps. Honestly, I've never experienced anything like that. Forgot to speak throughout the whole Bible to to speak such a a, a a little verse, such a small verse to speak such life, I guess, into me. I went to Romania to visit my parents for the holidays and it so happened that Brian with a group of young people were coming to do um, like a short-term mission trip in Romania from Austria and I told him that I was in Romania and he asked me what part of Romania I was in because he was also in Romania and I told him what the city I was in and it so happened that he was in the same exact city and so there was going to be a youth night he said you should totally come with your parents you can meet the team and with a couple nights before I got a phone call from a brother that um, was praying for my family and he had a vision for me and he said that in that vision he saw me in a church he explained how the church looked and how it was set up and then he said it was a youth night and he said that there was a young man that was going to be speaking and he was very very nervous so for me to pray for him because he will end up being my husband and i was just like what like i did not want to hear this i honestly was not even thinking about marriage I wanted to focus on missions and focus on what God wanted out of my life. 
and so I wasn't thinking about marriage at all but when he told me this I was like okay this could probably be in a couple years like it doesn't have to be soon you know so like I put it in the back of my mind I didn't, didn't think about it and so we ended up going on a Tuesday night to visit uh, to visit this church and when we got there I didn't realize it like I don't know how God just like blinded me to remember the vision that the brother had for me because this church was exactly the way he described it it was a youth night Brian was about to speak and he was I was honestly the most nervous I've ever <laughs> been in my whole life because I knew she was gonna be there I knew I had to speak in front of a and my crowd. dad was gonna be there my and mom. like so I was just battling with like all these mixed emotions and I didn't know what to think. After the service, my parents went up to Brian and we talked, we kind of introduced ourselves. Right after they left, um, someone came up to me um, that didn't know that I've been praying for Claudia and she said that that woman is going to be your wife. And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, I don't know. I just sense that you guys are going to get married. And um, after that, I told her like, look, I've been praying for her and all these things and she she said just watch it's, it's just a matter of time and you guys uh, will be married one day after I had been in Austria for about two weeks um, I get a text message from Brian and he's like hey we need to meet up and I was like okay sure like I'll grab you know another missionary with me or something he's like no like just us two but what she doesn't know is that since she came, we were serving together. I just knew, I was like, okay, the personality, the love for God, everything is just, this is exactly what I've been praying for. This is, this is exactly what I've been desiring. Same vision, same calling, everything. It just made sense and it was like eating me up inside when to tell her. I said, I'll wait a couple months. I talked to my pastor and I asked him like, what do I do? They're like, honestly, like it, it looks like it is from God. Like all the confirmations you had, everything that God spoke, like what's the point of waiting? You're just gonna like, you're just gonna burn up inside so then I finally got up the courage to just message her I was like whatever I just need to get off my chest she might think I'm crazy but I have to do it because I, I need to tell her like all these things that God spoke to me and the way that I feel about her we um, go to get sushi and he's really nervous again really nervous well like think <laughs> about it I'm about to tell possibly my future wife what God spoke to me but she could take it the other way as if like I'm you're crazy, crazy. <laughs> Like, I don't even know you, who you are, anything like that. Like, you can't convince me with this whole, like, God spoke to me stuff, you know? So, there was two variations. It was either she's gonna have the same feelings and the same confirmations from her side, or she's gonna look at me as if I'm crazy. crazy. And, like, it would just be completely awkward after that. <laughs> He's like, Claudia, I know this is gonna sound really weird. I'm not trying to convince you. I'm just trying to tell you what God spoke to me. I was like, okay, like, what is it? He's like, that you're gonna be my wife. I was like, oh my gosh. And then he starts going on about all the confirmations, like things that God spoke to him. At that moment, I kid you not, at that moment, the, the vision that the brother had for me, it like clicked, it made sense. Like, okay, so the church looked like that. There was youth night, Brian was the guy that was super nervous. Like everything, the way he, the way that God spoke to this brother to speak to me, I was like, wow, like everything, all of that was true. And so he keeps going on for 30 straight minutes, he's speaking, 30 straight minutes. He didn't let me say like one thing and then he reaches into his backpack. I'm like, oh my gosh, is he about to propose at a sushi place? But he pulls out his Bible and then he shows me the verse where God spoke to him. And then after all of that, I was like, okay, when are you gonna let me speak? And I told him, okay, so when's the wedding? Yeah, it was, I honestly, after that I was so relieved <laughs> um, because of the reaction, because honestly, ever since I started praying and fasting for a wife in general, um, but specifically for Claudia, I said, okay, I have these confirmations from my side. I know you spoke to me very clear that she's going to be my wife. Now, please speak to her in one way or another. Just let it connect. Let this, this story, let everything that I've said, like, let it connect and let it be a testimony of how you, God, put us together and let it just be, be something formed from you so that we know that we can look back on our marriage and, and we can know like through the tough times, through the struggles, through the doubts, everything, we can always look back and know that God put us together. It wasn't our feelings, our emotions, our attractions, but it was the confirmation that God spoke. And it wasn't just one confirmation, it was multiple and not even just from my side, but from her side, God spoke and, and it was just awesome how God created such a, a unity and, and just made us one after that. Even like after he proposed and I had the ring and everything, like it still seemed so, not real to me like 
I would like wake up and be like, oh my gosh, like all of that, that was just a dream. Honestly, like I'd wake up and be like, there's no way. And then I look at my hand and I'd see my ring. I'm like, wait, it is real. And it just gets me like emotional because to have God like write out our love story, it was something so special. And it's like all of the heartbreaks that we went through in our past relationships, like all of that was so worth it because in the end, like we got and we prayed and we fasted and, and we really sought God in the most important decision you can make is yeah. who you're going to get married to because that's for the rest of your life. And um, we're really blessed. I'm blessed to have you. I love you. I love you too. So yeah, that's our crazy love story. It was all very sudden. I remember like contacting my friends like, hey, I'm getting married. And they're like, to who? <laughs> uh, it was very sudden, but we knew that we were we were meant for each other. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.